बोलिए सतगुरु महाराज की जय सच्चे दरबार की जय थैंक यू ऑल फॉर कनेक्टिंग विद अस टुडे इट इज दैट टाइम ऑफ ईयर अगेन एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द डिवाइन लाइट वर्ल्ड फैमिली आई लाइक टू विश ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू अ वेरी हैप्पी हॉलिडे सीजन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट इंडिविजुअल हु इज कोर टू दिस फेस्टिवल एंड नो इट इज नॉट सेंटा क्लॉस but jesus christ instead jesus christ just like other saints and sages came on earth to set an example for human progress to help us attain salvation and be removed from delusion and today we'll talk about a few of the profound lessons he left us with the first one was about being an alive person not living like a dead person when peter's was told that his father has passed away and the people of the town asked peter to come and bury him jesus said to peter let the dead bury the dead meaning that those who have not undergone the awakening process in who that light of the lord has not been lit they are like the living dead it says when thine eyes be single thy body shall be full of light when that single eye that divine eye the third eye is awakened through a master it is then that our consciousness turns from the outside world towards the omniscience of god it is then that we awaken to the truth of ourselves and it is then in true essence that we are alive and how do we experience this how do we receive this awakening Jesus Christ said I will pray to my father who will send a comforter who will do the same work that I have done before you He promised us a comforter and helped us realize that he was not the first person who brought the message of truth that there were many messengers before him and there will be messengers after him as well but the only way that we would recognize them is through the work that they do in the case of the samaritan woman she knew that the messiah would come but when she met jesus christ she didn't recognize him as the messiah it was only after he baptized her in the holy spirit that she recognized that he was the messiah he was the comforter that the lord had promised he had awakened her third eye and enabled her to connect to that light of god within today brothers and sisters we need to find that same comforter we need to find that messiah today who can awaken our third eye who can provide this experience to us shri ashutosh marji is that messiah of today is that master who's providing the same awakening who's awakening the third eye of individuals and enabling them to see that truth that light of the lord within themselves so if you want to follow in the path of jesus if you want to receive this awakening then connect with us at divinelightworld.org another profound message was the message of faith lord jesus said that everything can pass but my words will not pass and saint augustine explains 
that faith is to believe in something but the fruit of that belief is to see what you had faith in to see what you believe in the emphasis is again on seeing in the case of the leper who was suffering from leprosy almost all his life but in the matter of seconds he was cured because he had faith in the words of Jesus Jesus Christ asked him to get up and walk and he got up and walked someone who was disabled for so long who just sat on the ground for many many years in a matter of seconds got up and walked because of the faith he had in the words of Jesus Christ throughout our daily lives we have many stones of fire we have many difficult situations but ask yourself in those situations do you have faith in your guru in your messiah because jesus christ said if you have faith the size of a mustard seed which is almost like a speck you can ask the mountain in front of you to move and it will move the mountain representing our struggles or difficult times but faith has that much power we all believe in god we believe in a higher power but when you see that lord within yourself when you see the light of god within you see what you believe in then that faith is unshakable another profound lesson was in the story of Mary Magdalene when she comes to wash his feet and all of his disciples stand around and judge him and her Jesus Christ reminds them he says you see the splinter in the other but do not see the beam in your own eye He reminds us that we're all full of weaknesses. And instead of focusing on others' weaknesses, if we can shift the focus on our own weaknesses and better ourselves, evolve into better human beings. He taught us to see God in everyone. Not to tie people to their weaknesses. But as you see people see them as children of God. See them as your brothers and sisters. So focus on your self growth. And one of the most profound lessons that he taught as he was being crucified was that of forgiveness. As he was on the cross he prayed. He said, "Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do." Today, people do little petty things and we get upset with them and we hold it against them. We hold grudges for a long long time if need be. But he taught us to forgive. As we hold grudges, as we hold on to this hatred, we only harm ourselves because on the level of the soul we're all connected. So let go of the grudges you're holding on to and live a free and happy life. Right before the crucifixion, Jesus asked his disciples to meditate. to avert the calamity but they disobeyed his orders they fell asleep instead today we have that same opportunity 
We all know that this year has been very difficult, has been filled with negativity. The more we meditate, the more we send positive vibrations into the universe, the more we can make a shift. Make a shift in our personal lives and a shift in the universe as well. So brothers and sisters, I know when Christmas comes around, we get so caught up in buying gifts for each other. Some of us think it's tied to Santa Claus. We forget the founder. We forget about Jesus Christ, which is sad. But this year, let's end 2020 on a positive note. Let's take these profound lessons from Jesus Christ. The lesson of finding that awakening, that master, that Messiah, who can awaken the light within us, who can awaken our truth within us, so that our consciousness starts to expand. The lesson of faith, to have faith that things will get better, to have faith in every difficult situation, to put our trust in the Lord. The lesson of non-judgment and seeing God in all. We all know that life is short. It's transient. So let's not spend time judging others, but spend time focusing on ourselves on our self-growth, on evolving our consciousness, on becoming a better human being. And forgive the ones that we hold grudges against. Forgive the people that we feel like have harmed us or hurt us. Everyone acts from their level of experience. So don't hold it against them. And last of all, let's make a conscious effort to meditate daily. On a daily basis, try and expand our consciousness. Send positive vibrations into the universe to help heal all of our brothers and sisters. Let's make this Christmas special. On that note, I wish you all a very happy and safe holiday season. Thank you for connecting with us today. Till next time, God bless. Stay safe.